welcome back to the coding hub. In today's video we will have a look at how to install Android Studios on a Chromebook. Before we get started I just want to uh, point out our website thecodinghub.com where you can find more on this topic um, and also please like and subscribe to our channel so that you can uh, see more videos like this and also give us a like so that more like-minded people get to see our videos. Now if you want to install Android Studios on your Chromebook, it's actually very, very easy. Um, you just need to make sure that you have Linux installed onto your device. Uh, and the way you do that is you go to your settings and you make sure that Linux is turned on and installed on your device. Uh, pretty much all Chromebooks have this uh, available. Uh, the only other thing that you need to watch out for is the system requirements. So uh, you do need to have uh, eight gigabytes of RAM uh, or more recommended, four gigabytes of disk space, uh, screen resolution of 120, um, uh, 1280 by 800, and an Intel i5 or higher recommended. Um, so, and, and these are some of the recommended uh, Android Studio uh, devices from Google. So keep that in mind. Uh, you can try and install it on uh, other devices, um, like for example, I haven't got a device that's on this list and it works completely fine. And um, uh, however, I do have the minimum uh, requirements met. So I do have an i5 with an 8 gigabytes of RAM and I've got 128 gigabytes of storage and I've got a uh, an HD screen. Um, so yeah. Um, and yeah, Android Studios is great for Android development of all different um, Android type of applications, so Wear OS, uh, Android Auto, Android phones, uh, and even Chromebooks. So you need to go to the Android Studio website and then download the link here. And once you've downloaded it, you get a .debian file, which you just need to double click. And that will open up your uh, your installation, so just putting some information, give it a second. And once it's loaded, you just click install. I won't do that now because it, it does take a bit of time. Um, and I've got Android Studios installed on my laptop already. So once it's installed, you just uh, open it up and it runs exactly like it does on any other platform with one exception. And the exception is the emulators. So once you start writing code in Android Studios, you might wanna test and debug your application, which is completely fine. There are three ways you can do this on a Chromebook, uh, which is slightly better than uh, some of the other devices like Windows and Apple. So on Windows and Apple, what you can normally do is emulate a device or uh, debug directly onto your phone. If you want to debug directly onto your phone, just connect your device then cl click in manage USB settings and just make sure you allow your device to be accessed via Linux so that you can debug it. Once you've turned that on, what you will see is uh, this drop down here that says no devices will show uh, your phone. Uh, and as you can see here, I've got some a very basic um, example application that I've created uh, just from a template is nothing special. Um, uh, the second way you can um, test your application is via an emulated device. Now, emulated devices are only supported on certain Chromebooks for the moment. Uh, the reason for this is uh, that Google is still testing this. So the supported devices that will allow you to emulate an Android uh, phone or tablet were, are these. Uh, so unless you have a device that's one of these, you won't be able to emulate uh, an Android device, unfortunately. So for most people, uh, you won't be able to test, unfortunately, on an emulator. So uh, your best uh, case is to use your phone if you have an Android phone or get an Android phone to test and debug. However, the second option is to actually turn on 
uh, develop Android apps. So if you go to your Linux settings on your Chromebook and then click on develop Android apps, you can turn on the setting here called ADB debugging. Now I'm not going to turn it on now because the only way to turn it off is to re factory reset your device, uh, which I don't want to do um, and I don't need to enable it because I have an Android phone and I prefer testing on my phone. However, when you turn this on, what it will do is it will allow you to install the application onto your Chromebook. And what that means is you can run the application on your Chromebook and directly test and debug on your Chromebook and see how your application will look like on a Chromebook um, on a larger screen and stuff like that. So that's great. So if you're developing on Chrome OS, you can actually just directly test on Chrome OS because you can run Android applications on your Chrome device, uh, which is brilliant. And yeah, like uh, like on every other um, um, Android Studios, you can see your HTML and your and your uh, sorry your XML and your TypeScript and yeah, the the experience is great, the performance is great. So if you uh, want to develop an Android applications natively on uh, your Chromebook, you can do. And this is how you do it. So I hope you found this video uh, useful and interesting. And I hope to see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.